Shalom, shalom. Hosea, grace, bless. Shalom, shalom. Good morning to you. How's the sound and video? Shalom, shalom, most high grace bless. Good, 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 all praises. Yes, yes, indeed. for people to join. Shalom, shalom. Brothers and sisters. Oh, sorry. Oh, yay. Are we, I mean, if I'm mispronouncing, let me know. The dancing officer. Oh, sorry, praise bless you. Yes, rock and some royal duo. Royalty duo. Face Jerusalem, 
Brothers, uncover your heads. Sisters, cover your heads. Yes, sir. I got you. Okay. All praises. Brother Pablo. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. That which that the kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Most high in Christ bless. So I hope all is well with everyone. Let's see. Uh, the class of day is going to be called Do You Value This Truth? The title of the class is Do You Value This Truth? Oh, I forgot. This disclaimer. Disclaimer. We are not in the Hebrew. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Israel United in Christ is a nonviolent Bible based movement. We do not advocate or condone any acts of violence against any race, ethnicity, or gender. We advise that if anyone hears or knows of any plots to cause harm to anyone, or to break the laws of the land, we must, you must contact the proper authorities and to bring awareness to any possible threat, as stated in Leviticus 5 and 1. All right. My scribe, are you there? My scribe, Brother Pablo. I want to make sure he's still, still with me. Again, the title of the class is "Do You Value This Truth?" Okay, all praise, all praises. Yes, the title of the class again is Do You Value This Truth? And we're going to get started at Romans 15 and 4. Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So the things that were written aforetime were written for our learning. That we through much patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So through the scriptures we learn the good examples and the bad examples of how to navigate through his truth. All right, let's go to Matthew 6 and 19. Matthew 6 and 19. Yes, yeah, this timing is throwing me off. Sorry about that. Book of Matthew, chapter 6, Chapter 6, verse 19. Lay not, not up your tre yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up your treasures on heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, 
and where thieves do not break through or steal, nor steal. For where your treasure is, where, where your treasure is, there will your heart be again. So, let's go to Sirach. Sirach 29 and 11. Sirach 29 and 11. Because it's saying the same thing. But you're going to see where those treasures are. Sirach 29 and 11. Lay up thy treasure according to the commandments of the Most High, and it shall bring thee more profit than gold. And read it again. Lay up thy treasure according to the commandments of the Most High, and it shall bring thee more profit than gold. So we walk through this truth, and some of us don't realize the treasures that we have already in this truth. The scriptures, the commandments, the laws, that's a treasure. That is the treasure. Well, let me some. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Something just popped in my head. Uh, let's go to Baruch. Baruch three and thirty six. Baruch three and thirty six. He hath found all, all out he hath found out all the way of knowledge, and have given it unto Jacob his servant, and to Israel his beloved. So the Lord gave us the commandments, the knowledge, the laws, the only nation that he gave it to, not everybody, only us. And for that we should say praise all praise to the most high. Hallelujah. Because that's a great thing. I'm going to read it again. He hath found out, out all the way of knowledge, and hath given it to unto Jacob his servant, and to Israel his beloved. Hmm. Go to Isaiah 55 and 1. Isaiah 55 and 1. Ho, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters, and he, he that hath no money, come ye. Buy and eat. Yea, come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Hmm. He says, Ho, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. What are the waters? What are the waters? That's a question for y'all. What are the waters? What are the waters that the Lord says come to? Okay. 
right a few more hmm let's go to Ephesians 5 and 26 Ephesians 5 and 26 that he may sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word that he might cleanse it by sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word hmm uh, let's go to Matthew Matthew 5 And six. The book of Matthew, chapter five, and verse six. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. I'm going to read it again. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. For they shall be filled. Hunger and thirst after righteousness. Hmm. We know that righteousness is the keeping of the commandments. Let's go to Deuteronomy 6 and 25. Deuteronomy 6 and 25. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God as he hath commanded us. That's righteousness. Keeping the commandments. Of course we know we don't keep the sacrificial law but we keep all the other commandments. So just in case uh, you have a thought that you uh, you have to keep the law. Yes, you do. Accept the law of sacrifice. But that's another topic. All right, let's go to Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 1. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 3 and verse 1. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. Verse 2. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat, this, eat that roll. Verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then I did then then did I eat then did I did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. So the Lord commanded the prophet to eat the roll. And it was as sweetness in his mouth. Let's see why. Um, go to the book of Psalms 119 and 103. Psalms 119 verse 103. How sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Remember, in Ezekiel, he was told to eat this roll. They ate it and was sweet in his mouth.
I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. My my laptop is acting up. But we're gonna keep pushing. We're gonna keep pushing. Uh, go to Ciroc Fifty One. And let's see where to start. Ciroc Fifty One. And twenty five. Ciroc fifty one and twenty five. Is the sound and video still good? I'm getting all these pop ups. Is the sound and video still good? All right, all praise, all praise. All right, uh, Ciroc, 51 and 25. I opened my mouth and said, buy her your, for yourselves without money. I'm gonna read it again. I opened my mouth and said, buy her yourselves for yourselves without money. What are we buying? What are we buying? It says buy for yourselves without money. Very good. Very good. Uh, let's go back to Isaiah 55 and 1. So we can get the thought again. Isaiah 55 and 1. Ho, oh, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. And he that hath no money, come ye, buy, and eat. Yea, come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Hmm. Let's go to the book of Proverbs 23.23. Proverbs twenty three twenty three. Hmm. The book of Proverbs twenty three. And 23 buy the truth and sell it not also wisdom and instruction and understanding hmm buy the truth and sell it not also wisdom and instruction and understanding hmm is a recurring theme. Um, 
What is the truth? Y'all know this. Psalms 119, verse 142. Psalms 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. The truth is the law. So we're going to go to the deepest scripture in the Bible. I know you'll like deep, deep things, but this is deepest scripture in the Bible. The book of Psalms 111 and 10. The book of Psalms 111 and verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. So the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. So that's where our value should be. In the commandments, in the laws, that's where our value should be. Now, I know some of us have bought into the uh, having the American dream, and I'm here to say it's an American nightmare. It's an American nightmare. But all they that do his commandments, all they that do his commandments will have wisdom and a good understanding of the scriptures. That's why we go through verses and some just don't get it. Uh, let me address that. Uh, Matthew... Thirteen. Let's see what is scripture. Matthew thirteen and thirty four. 13 and 34 Matthew 13:34 Is that what I want? Uh, I'm, I don't have this in my notes. Who knows what that scripture is at where Jesus said, I spoke to you in parables. Who knows what that scripture is at? It is given unto you to know. Hold on a minute. All right, Matthew thirteen eleven. Matthew 13 
And let's start at verse 10. Matthew 13 and 10. Yeah, I think I, I found it. Thank you, brother. Matthew 13 and 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou, speakest thou unto them in parables? Verse 11. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. That That is a... Is it the No, I got it. You know why that is so heavy? Because um, as we watch the classes from the bishops and the deacons, and they go through certain things, and some of us will get it. Some of us will get it. Others, they won't get it. Then, right then. I'm going to read this again. Verse Matthew 13 and verse 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest, it, speakest thou unto them in parables? Verse 11. He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but unto them it is not given. It's given to uh, some of us. That's why uh, you'll hear bishops or the deacons say, if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. But those that are keeping the commandments will get it. Others not right away. Some, they'll get it later. Some just will never get it. Some will never get it. And you know what that, who's that is? The Christians, so-called. They won't get it. Um, I don't know if, how many of you watched the, the class yesterday. Was it yesterday? What is it today? No, Monday. Monday. And the deacons were going through scriptures. I was like, ah, that's it. And someone was like, I, yeah, I get it. I get it. Others won't get it. But some will get it right away. That's correct, Brother Cliff. But you have to be keeping the commandments. Um, remember, the beginning of wisdom, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. Yeah, that, that class, man. Wow. So I, if you notice, these classes, they're going through some heavy stuff. But if you don't have the foundation of keeping the commandments, you won't get it. That's why your revs and your pastors can't teach these scriptures. They're blinded because they're not keeping the commandments. So all, all praises to the Lord that these classes are coming out. The Lord is pouring out his spirit on the bishops and the deacons. And the captains, so we can understand what's going on. Let 
Now, Bishop Nathaniel warned us about a famine years ago, two years ago. I think it was two years ago. And guess what? It started. Um, I just saw some pictures from Japan. Empty shelves. They have empty shelves. Are they teaching that in the church? No. First of all, they've been too busy taking your money. And they don't have any value on the truth. Their value is on earthly things. That's why the prosperity doctrine is running rampant in the church. And people are leaving the church, especially the men. Especially the men. But we have to value this truth. The laws, statutes, and commandments. That is the foundation and the spirit of Christ. Uh, let's go to Isaiah 55 and verse 2. Isaiah 55 and verse 2. Wherefore, do ye spend money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which satisfieth not? Hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. Hmm. Eat ye that which is good. Hmm. Eat ye that which is good. Hmm. Let's see what's good. Romans 7 and verse 12. Romans 7 and verse 12. Wherefore the law is holy, and the commandment holy, and just, and good. The law is holy, and the commandment holy, and just, and good. Let's go to the book of Psalms. Seventy three and verse seven. Psalm seventy three and verse seven. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than hearts could wish. I'm going to read it again. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than, than heart could wish. They have more than heart can wish. Hmm. Uh, what does that represent? What does that represent? The fatness. They have more than their heart could wish. What is that talking about?
Anybody else? I see my brother Olada. All right, it's called it's talking about blessings, abundance, blessings and abundance. That's what it's talking about. I'm gonna read, I'm gonna read it again. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. Um, let's go back to Isaiah 55 and verse 3. Isaiah 55 and 3. Isaiah 55 and 3 Incline your ear and come unto me Hear and your soul shall live And I will make an everlasting covenant with you Even the sure mercies of David I'm Read it again Incline your ear and come unto me Hear and your soul shall live And I will make an everlasting covenant with you even the sure mercies of David. Hmm. Uh, let's go to Proverbs. Seventy-two and I mean twenty-two. Twenty-two and seventeen. Proverbs 22 and 17. Proverbs 22, 17. Bow down thine ear and hear the words of the wise apply thine heart unto my knowledge bow down thine ear and hear the words of the wise and apply thine heart unto my knowledge hmm. what's the knowledge what is the knowledge that we're supposed to apply our mind to. Let's go to the book of Malachi 2 and 7. Malachi 2 and 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge and they should seek the law at his mouth, for he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. The knowledge of the laws. The knowledge is the laws. Mm. 
Let's go back to Isaiah 55 and 3. Isaiah 55 and 3. Incline your ear and come unto me. Hear and your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. And your soul shall live. Proverbs 7 and 2. Proverbs 7 and 2. And your soul shall live. Hmm. Proverbs 7 and 2. Keep my commandments and live, and my law as the apple of thine eye. Um, keep my commandments and live. Keep my commandments and live. Hold on a minute. Deuteronomy 30 and Fifteen. Deuteronomy thirty and fifteen. See, I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil, in that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways, and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments, that thou mayest live and multiply. And the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess it. The keeping of the commandments. That's how we get life. Good life. And blessings by keeping the commandments. But, but here are we now because we didn't obey. It still goes back to keeping his commandments, his statutes, and his judgments. Keeping the commandments. Keep the laws. There's no way around it. Um, and if you notice in Christianity, they try to use words that we don't even understand. They don't understand. We've, we're supposed to use words easy to understand. Uh, Nehemiah 8 and 8. Nehemiah 8 and 8. Nehemiah 8 and 8. So they read in the book of the law of God distinctly and gave the sense and caused them to understand the reading. 
That's why, uh, if you'll notice, Bishop is hard on readers. So, so they read in the book of the law of God distinctly, clearly, and gave the sense and caused them to understand the reading. Not using words that's, uh, you know, uh, what do they call it? Exegesis and whatever, hermeneutics and ah. Uh, but you're unlearned in the scriptures. So how are you going to teach the people the scriptures when you don't keep the commandments? Let's go to Baruch 3 and 36. Baruch 3 and 36. Baruch 336. He hath found all the way of knowledge, and have given it unto Jacob his servant, and to Israel his beloved. The Bible was only given to the Israelites, no one else. And those Israelites that keep the commandments will have a good understanding. This book is only our book, only for us, not everybody. Uh, let's stay in Baruch. Baruch 4 and 1. Baruch 4 and 1. This is the book of, of the commandments of God and the law that endured forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endures forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Do you all realize that the Bible is the book of the law? The whole Bible. Hold on, man, y'all. Where was I? Oh, Baruch. Rule four and one. Four and two. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. Was the light? The law is light. Verse three. Give not thine honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee unto a strange nation. This Bible is only for us. It's the Israelites. Not for everybody. It's only for us. Hmm. Uh, let's go to
Hebrews 10 and verse 7. Hebrews 10 and 7. Hebrews 10 and 7. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book is written of me to do thy will, O God. we read it again. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O God. So it's written of Christ, the volume of the book. The whole Bible is written of Christ to do the will of the Father. So, as we walk these days, we have the Spirit of Christ with us, the whole Bible. For lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O God. But there's something you have to do. John 14 and 15. John 14 and 15. John fourteen fifteen, If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. So the stipulation is that if, the requirement is if you love him, if you love Christ, keep his commandments. Hmm. Verse 16. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give it give you another comforter, that ye may that he may abide with you forever. Verse seventeen Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Why? Because we keep his commandments. Hold on. First John 2 and verse 3. First John 2 and 3. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. That's how you know God, you know Christ, if you keep his commandments. Verse 4, He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But you have to be keeping the commandments. Let's go back to John. John 14 and 18. John 14 and 18. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Who's talking here? Christ. Verse 18 again. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Verse 19. 
verse, I'm going to drop down to verse 21. Verse 21. He that hath my commandment and keepeth them, he it, he it is that loveth me, and he shall be loved, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my father, and I will love him and will manifi manifest myself to him. I'm going to read on. Judas saith unto him, not his Iscariot, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto, uh, unto us, and not unto the world? Verse 23, Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. He that, verse 24, He that loveth me, loveth me not, keepeth not my sayings. And the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. Those things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. Verse 26, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. We will only get the good understanding by keeping his commandments. The Bible, we have this Bible, it's the Spirit of Christ. And through all the out all the uh, captivity throughout slavery, especially here in America, when they we couldn't read or couldn't write, but here it is today. The Lord is pouring out His Spirit on the Israelites that keep His commandments. He's pouring out his spirit. So in these last days, our value should be on this, the commandments and the laws of God. Uh, Revelation 14 and 12. Revelation 14 and 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Go to Second Ezra nine and seven. Second Ezra nine and seven. And every one that shall be saved and should, shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. Works, keeping of the commandments, and faith in Christ. You have to have both. You have to have both.
The works are the commandments, the laws, the faith of Christ. You gotta have both. Uh, back to John. Book of John, chapter 14, and verse 6. Um, start at Start at verse 5. John 14 and 5. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know your way? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. There's no way to get to the Father but through Christ. But through Christ. So the uh, Israelites that just Keep some of the commandments and don't have faith in Christ, you're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. So, as some of our people put their value in earthly things, like houses and cars not realizing the value is in the truth that's where the value is those houses and cars all that stuff earthly things it's going to be burned up and destroyed It's going to be burned up. And the most high is a mastermind. You got these pastors that have been stealing money for years, taking people's money for their own gain. And what's happening now? You got a uh, Creflo get a dollar now confessing and admitting that he was teaching a false doctrine. No kidding. Have you got people's money? Really? A $65 million jet? Really? Are you going to pay these people back their money? Hmm? No. I've got millions. You, TD Snakes, these all, all these wicked pastors. They're being exposed. They are being exposed. And all praises to the Most High for that. So again, do you value this truth? If so, hold on to it. Um... Matthew 24 
in 13. Matthew 24, 13. But he, he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. We're not at the end yet. We are not at the end yet. I'm going to read it again. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Yeah, yeah, so that wicked as hell. He's wicked as hell. Lord's role, he's, he repents. Because if he doesn't, Death is at his door. So that's the class. Thank you, uh, Brother Prabhu, for scribing. Thank you, bro. All praises to Most High. Let's just hold on. Hold on to this truth. This is all we got. Salam, Salam, Most High, Christ bless you. So did Daniel. Uh, oh, I forgot this scripture. One more, one more. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's one of my favorite ones. Sirach 4 and 28. Sirach 4 and 28. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. All praises to Most High. Uh, don't forget to donate to the Booster Club. Because the acts of the apostles continues. The acts of the apostles continues. So donate. IOIC.fundraising at IsraelNight.org. Make sure. We all send up our prayers for leadership. For all those that are keeping the commandments and the faith of Christ. That the Lord will protect them and guide them. Because these are the last days. Now we don't know when the Lord is going to return. When Christ returns, we don't know. Oh, let's pray. Study, pray, and apply. Study, pray, and apply. All right. 
So, all praises, we made it through this class. Let's keep let's keep these things in our remembrance. All right. Love y'all. Shalom, Most High in Christ bless.